Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to construct a full subtractor using NAND gate and also on the IC7400. And for doing this experiment, we required nine NAND gate, two LED bulb, three switches, and one DC voltage supply. So let's explore more on full subtractor. So full subtractor is a combination circuit that performs operation of subtraction on three binary bits and which give the output in the form of difference and borrow. Basically, it has three input and two output. And we can realize this uh, full subtractor using two half subtractor. And this is the truth table or the symbol for the full subtractor, which can be realized with the help of two ZOR gate and to NAND gate, one of the terminal, terminal is connected with the NOT gate and these two inputs are fed to one of the OR gate. But we can realize this also with the help of NAND gate. And uh, let us uh, construct the circuit in our practicals and verify the truth table. Let us start the circuit diagram. So for connecting this, uh, this circuit for full subtractor, First of all, we will connect the input terminal A to the one of the terminal of NAND gate 1 and input terminal of B, sorry, the B signal is connected to the input terminal of NAND gate 1. Now, the output of the NAND gate 1 is connected to the input, one of the input terminal of NAND gate B and NAND gate C. Now, other two terminal of NAND gate 3 and NAND gate 2 is connected with the A and B. Now, the uh, output uh, of these two NANDs, gate, NAND gate 2 and NAND gate 3, is connected to the input terminals of NAND gate 4. Now we will repeat the same configuration and uh, we will put the output of the fourth, fourth NAND gate to the input of fifth NAND gate. And the output of fifth NAND gate is connected common to the sixth NAND gate and seventh NAND gate. And, and the ter second terminal of uh, sixth and seventh NAND gate is connected to the common input terminal of now other two terminals of NAND gate 6 and NAND gate 7 is, are connected to the one of the input terminal uh, coming from the output of uh, fifth na fourth NAND gate and the input terminal of fifth NAND gate. Now output of these two NAND gate are connected to the output are connected to the input of uh, the next NAND gate that is NAND gate number 8 and this will act as a difference bit which is connected to the one of the terminal of LED and the second terminal of LED is connected to the ground. Now for uh, connect third C signal is connected to the common input terminal of this NAND gate. Now we will connect for the the borrow bit. Now for borrow bit, we will take the output from the third NAND gate, one of the, and connect the one of the terminal of uh, this ninth NAND gate, and second terminal is connected to the output of this NAND gate, basically seventh NAND gate. So we will connect the output of third NAND gate to the one of the terminal of ninth NAND gate, and the output coming from the seventh NAND gate to the one of the input terminal of ninth gate. And this will act as a borrow bit, which is connected to the one of the terminal of LED and the other terminal of LED is connected to ground. So this is the connection for our full subtractor circuit. Now we will verify our connection with the truth table. Now for this first case, A0, B0 and C0 as all three switches are open. So in this case, we will get difference as well as borrow bit zero. Now the second case, as we close the switch one and B and C will be zero, then we will get difference bit as a one and borrow bit as a zero. Now for the third case, we will switch on the second switch 
and we'll keep open first and third switch so in this case we will get one difference as well as one borrow now for the next case we will switch on first switch a and b we will close the second and third switch in this we will neither get the zero difference nor get borrow bit now for the next case as we will open switch a and b and close the switch c so in this case we will get one difference as well as one borrow so this is verified now we will verify for our last case in the in which we will give the signal from a b as well as from c and in this case we will get one difference as well as one borrow so let's close switch a b and c so in this case we will get difference as well as the borrow so our circuit diagram is verified with our truth table hence we constructed a full subtractor using nand gate uh, so now we will continue this video for with uh, with the ic7400 so for this first of all we will connect the input signal a to the one of the input terminal of first nand gate and the second input b to the second input terminal of nand gate first now we will take the common input from the a and connect it with the input terminals of second nand gate and we will take input from b and connect it with the one of the terminal of nand gate 3 now output of first nand gate is connected to the input of second nand gate and third nand gate now the output of second nand gate and third nand gate is connected with the inputs of fourth nand gate now this is uh, the output which is fed to the next ic for the first nand gate and second input is taken from the c signal and connected to the second terminal of nand gate now we will repeat the same configuration as uh, connected here but before that we will connect the seventh pin to the ground and 14th pin to the positive supply now we will take the common input 1a and 1b and connect it to the input of second nand gate and third nand gate basically in the physical ic we will see the pin so we will uh, there we won't get any number like 2a 1a 1b there uh, we have to connect pin wise that is the inputs are connected at the pin 2 and 3 and the common input a is connected to the pin 6 and common input b is connected to the pin 8 so similarly we will take the output from the pin 1 and connect it to the pin 5 and the common output is connected to the one of the input of pin 9 now the output coming from the second nand gate that is the fourth pin is connected to the inputs of the fourth nand gate and output coming from third nand gate is connected to the input terminal of fourth nand gate Now the output of the fourth nand gate that is uh, the pin number 13 is connected to the led which uh, represent the difference bit basically i have to change and second terminal of the led is connected to ground now for the borrow bit we will uh, as we in the above circuit diagram we have taken the output from the third nand gate and connected to the one of the terminal and uh, output of seventh uh, basically eighth nand gate and connected to to the second terminal similarly in this case also we will take the output from the third nand gate that is the 3y 
that is from the pin number 8910 and connect it with the one of the input terminal of the first NAND gate now for the second also we will take the input from the 3Y that is the pin number 8910 and we will connect it to the second input terminal of first NAND gate and we will take output from the pin first and connect it to the LED which is showing for the borrowed bit and second terminal of LED is connected to the graph. So this is the connection for our full subtractor circuit. Now we will verify the truth table, this truth table. Basically we don't have much space. So we will adjust it uh, to this side. So now for the first case, uh, when all the a signal A, B, C are zero, then we will get output zero as well as borrow zero. Now for the second case, if we close the first switch, then we will get difference one, but the borrow bit will still zero. So this is verified for first case. Now for the next case, we will uh, close the second switch that is we will provide signal through B and uh, first switch and third switch will remain open. Then in this case, we will get difference bit as well as borrow bit. As soon as we will close the second switch, we will get difference bit as well as borrow bit. Now we will uh, take next case for the, in the case when, we will take next case uh, for this when A is 0, B is 0 and C is 1. Then in this case also the difference as well as borrow is 1. So we will keep open first and second switch and we will close the third switch. So in this case also we get the output. Now when we will uh, keep the first signal, first switch on and third switch on and we will close, we will keep this second switch open, then in this case, we will neither get the difference bit nor the borrow bit. So let's check. So in this case, we uh, will get neither difference nor borrow. So let's uh, check for the last case. Let's verify for the last case in which uh, all the signal A, B and C are turned on, switches are turned on. Then in this case, we will get borrow as well as difference result. So this is how we verified our truth table with uh, the circuit of full subtractor using IC7400. Thank you.